Let, uh, for the record, let it be said that we are doing a Q&A at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> but you guys are the new baby. No other cinema. You can do it for anybody else. Okay, I have a question. Um, so, when I first saw the movie, I thought that the ending was, for me, like the Pretty in Pink kind of ending, where you kind of want her to be with Duffy, but she was with Blaine, so we have this kind of Knives Ramona thing. Because there was different endings, yeah? Uh, there, there was until, um, and basically, um, we did do like basically the ducky version. I, I, I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard the pretty and pink actually had to end it. Is that it right? Did. Yeah, she was okay. supposed to end up with ducky, and then the audience didn't like it, and right. so that's why she ended up with Blake. Well, it was interesting because we did we had a similar thing, and it'll be on the on the DVD and Blu-ray where you'll see the other ending. And it was interesting. Basically, what happened is that Brian um, changed the ending of the last book, and he had an ending that was different again from what we'd done. And something that was, you know, because the books are much more like a sort of a long series of novels, and this was slightly different, and his ending wouldn't really fit in with what we had to do. And Brian was kind of involved in all of this process. But then right at the last minute, whilst we were filming, Brian kind of had a change of heart. And so then, so actually what happened is we, we, we screened, um, you know, like the screened, uh, uh, I'm drunk. We did screen screened, and stuff, and stuff. Um, <laughs> but don't let that, uh, don't let, uh, just let it be for the record that I was very, very cogent through that this entire thing. <laughs> um, we tested it a bunch of times, and it wouldn't go badly, it would just split people down the middle. And there were even like kind of people who had arguments in focus groups, and you know, and basically once I, once I saw Brian's artwork for the ending, I kind of knew that we had to change it. And, and also it was something that we wrote together and, you know, kind of with Michael, Mary and Ellen's involvement. And the person I was most, like, nervous, we rewrote the ending, myself, Michael McCall and Brian Lee O'Malley wrote the ending. And what's kind of nice about the film is, is that throughout, um, there are lines of Brian's that don't appear in the books, but he wrote the lines because either they were from early drafts of the books, or in the final scene there are some lines, like the line that Knife says about, I'm too cool for you anyway, is Brian's line. But that doesn't appear in the book, so it was kind of nice, you know, having him involved in what's essentially like a bizarro alternate reality version of the books. I think I'm doing pretty well for being standing. <laughs> um, and uh, we wrote it, and and when I and the person I was most nervous to call about the change ending was Ellen Wong to tell her that like so we we're gonna change the ending. He ends up with Ramona, and she was like, "It's totally." I thought that all the way through because I wouldn't take back a guy that just admitted he cheated on me. <laughs> and that was Ellen's response, and she thought it was great, and so, and, and it was also something with the original ending, it was very sweet, it was, some people found it very sweet, in the way I'm sure some people found the Duffy ending sweet, a lot of people were just pissed that Michael had been fighting for 115 minutes and not get the girl, <laughs> and, um, but for me, the biggest problem with the original ending is it made Knives look weaker, she just kind of had this kind of ugly duckling into a swan transformation, and to sort of take him back without any dialogue just seemed like it made her like weak. So, you know, once we'd written the new ending, like um, we were just happy with it all around. And, you know, as you know, it kind of mirrors the last kind of like page of the books and stuff. So it was, it was you know, but you'll get to see the alternate version. You know, in the game you have like sort of there's six different kind of like versions of the ending and stuff. So I kind of feel like it's nice to kind of, it's like a choose your own adventure book. It's like the Steve Jackson approach to Scott Pilgrim. There was no ending with Alison Hill, which I know some of you are bummed about. Um, that was a really long answer. <laughs> um, 